Okay, um, tonight we're going to talk about um, adding figures into a locomotive. Now, what I'm going to have to do tonight, I'll be showing you one I prepared earlier. Um, I'm not that experienced with like doing like filming as I'm working sort of thing, and I found it. You know, I do find it still quite fiddly to do, believe it or not. So I can't pretend this is like the easiest task in the world. Um, we're going to talk about adding figures uh, to a locomotive. Now. This particular locomotive here is County of Brecon or County of Brecknock, and um, it's uh, it's basically the the forerunner to what you've got in the Hornby Railroad range uh, now. But these are these are more like the the Dapple style. They've got or Hornby. They've got a Ringford motor inside there, okay. Um, but they they share one thing in common with the railroad model, in that um, even though it's a different motor and chassis now and everything. That they've got similar cabs okay so what we're going to do is we're going to, to um show you what the cab looks like with a crew in okay so you can see there clearly see the the crews in there now the way that i actually put them in now one good way of posing them you can either pose the fireman um with his shovel towards the um the door the coal hole doors fire hole doors or you can have him pointing towards a tender sort of reaching forward for some coal that's what this one's doing he's sort of going into the tender now for some coal then he's going to swing back to actually put the coal in, in into the into the firebox you've got the driver there he's, he's obviously reaching up he's looking out through the window rather diligently there um for controls now the question is how do you actually put them in um uh, because it's uh can be quite fiddly okay i'm going to show you how in just a second Let's have a quick change of light Okay, we don't need the uh, light shining into the cab now. Now, what you do need is some super glue. I've been using this super glue precision. Um, good glue, okay. I don't know what I've been using for it there. Uh, the extra long nods of precise applications that basically doesn't that doesn't work very well i mean it does when you first open it but then uh, when you try to use it the second time you find the nozzles blocked you've got to try to unblock it again um i had to unblock it with a pair of tweezers um that's what you do need actually to put them in is um it's this it's a pair of tweezers i've got the guard on them there you can see tweezers there And a cocktail stick. Okay. Now basically what you do is that you put some glue. I usually find it easy to put some glue onto the card here first. Then use a cocktail stick to pick up a little blob of glue. And you can add that to the foot, to the feet of each of the loco crew. Okay. Then what you need to do then is to position them onto the foot plate. With a pair of tweezers like so okay and that requires a steady hand and a lot of patience while you wait for them to the, the glue to actually set okay then once they're in there they're glued in now one of the things to bear in mind about this particular locomotive is that it's got um, a full plate on it so I, you've got to get the crew in so they're not standing on the full plate okay that on these particular ones the full plate do not actually need to move now this particular county is different to the later counties, um, the railroad ones, because the new, the new railroad ones I don't think got this full plate, okay? Very nice model these, these are the, these are the pre-railroad range. So these will have been sort of sold at the top of the range, they're more like railroad really, um, more than on dark and everything else. But as a look at the uh, County of Brecknock there. Now I find it's best to detach the tender from the uh, locomotive. And if you're dealing with one of the railroad range of uh, models, rather than this one, then you're going to have a wire uh, with a plug going into the tender. And you'll need to uh, take the screw out and also um, detach the plug from the tender. If you're doing it with a, like a, with a railroad version. You need X6468. There's a special pair of pliers you can see in there. I'm keeping them in the bag now. But they use them to actually grip the plug and pull the plug out. So you don't damage the wire the wiring at all. Okay. These are this is obviously a pre the pre um 
the pre-railroad version there. You can see our driver and fireman clearly there, okay? I think it adds action to, to, to the actual uh, locomotive. <coughs> Pardon me. Especially if you've not got um, a fully painted or decorated cab. Obviously, you've got a black hole there, but looking for the side slightly there now. You've got some action going on in the cab, okay? So, I hope you found this interesting. Just to recap then, the kind of things you'll need. I find those useful things to need. Um, a lamp, so you can see what you're doing. Um, a pair of tweezers to grip the figures and while you're positioning them in the tender. A cocktail stick to apply the glue to the feet of the um, to the feet of the loco crew. And some uh, super glue to glue them in with. Okay, I find a lot of tight super glue positions best. Okay, and that's just a, um, just showing you there. Beautiful. Okay. Now I hope you found this interesting. Now, if you uh, like what you see, press like and subscribe. Okay. Thank you very much for watching my channel, Paul Cherry Trains. And thank you very, very much for everyone who's been subscribing to my channel. I'm very grateful for that. I mean, it makes a great big difference to my channel. Uh, we're getting close to 100 uh, subscribers. Now, it's, it's taken me um, a long time to do that. Um, and for, for me, that will be a major a major landmark. Thank you for everybody who's joined me, joined me recently, too. And wel welcome aboard. And uh, like I say, I didn't want to film myself try, so trying to hold the camera and put this... Uh, particular um local crew in i find it was easier to put them in first so this is more like a this is one i prepared earlier as he as he used to say on blue peter okay so if you haven't subscribed yet um subscribe if you like what you see press like and uh, thank you very very much for watching and um be your fair one and good night thank you